Just one thing to note, when you're traveling in Europe or any country and you use your bank card to pay, always use that country's currency because if you use your own currency, like in my case would be US dollars, then it's more favorable to the business because they set the exchange rate. For example, yesterday we had lunch when we got here, or dinner actually, and um, the lady asked me, she said, do you want to pay in euro or in uh, dollars? And I said euro, but when she gave me the receipt, it still had the US dollars on it. So I wasn't paying attention, got home and looked at my bank account, and I got charged about $7 more based on the um, using the US dollar as opposed to the, uh, the paying in euro. If you get a bill and it says euro and US dollars, say, no, no, I want, the euro, I want to pay the euro. I don't want US dollars. Stars fall at my feet. Keep me grounded as I reach. Higher than I see. Is there something there for me? Hello everyone, good morning, Thai Kekip. And Foreigner Joe. Well, we spent our first night in Croatia. It's nice here. Looks like it's May rain. We didn't anticipate any rain from the weather app, but it looks, mm -hmm. now it's saying it's going to rain the next few days. Hopefully not. We just stepped outside of our door. Mommy, go here. Yeah. A lot of uh, nice little alleyways. We found a way. When we first came yesterday, we kind of got turned around. We were a little lost trying to find the Airbnb because of Google Maps. But uh, once we got here and, and found out where it is, we found an easier way to um, get in and out of here than all the side streets that was taking us up and down. Ooh, a little windy. Anyway, we went and got the external mics because it's pretty windy out here. So hopefully, you could hear us a little bit better, we're hoping anyway. So we're gonna go grab a coffee and then we're gonna figure out where we are going to go next and look around. Yeah, it's not nice like it was yesterday when we first came, right? Yes. Wow, windy. Very windy. I didn't think that um, there'd be a whole lot of tourism early May, but I guess I was wrong. Let's go see what's inside here, huh? Oh, let's go along. Ah. Nice. Oh, look at that view, huh? Mm-hmm. Beautiful view. Nice church right there, huh? Oh, warm. Yeah. Oh, Warming up a little, which <laughs> is nice. If land today, tomorrow, sun come. <laughs> we don't care, we have all day oh, here. Look how busy this is, huh? Yeah, busy. Let's see what this sign says right here. May I, may I explain you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. You don't mind being on camera, do you? No, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> we are here at number eight spot. And we are, then we are going to the number six okay. stop. And then we finish on uh, the number three spot. That's Croatian National Theatre over there. Yes. And it lasts about one hour, one hour and 15 minutes. And uh, the price per you two will be 60 euros. Want to do that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. Okay. <laughs> I want hat. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amazing. Take some pictures here, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that real fast. And then continue on with our journey, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Where are we going next? Now we are going to the most beautiful beach in Split. All right. And guys, do you like the park? Yes, very nice. The weather is not perfect today, like it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was beautiful when we flew in. Yeah. How old are some of these buildings around here, do you think? I don't know about this building, maybe from the 20th century, probably. Okay. But uh, do you know how old the city of Split is? No, I don't. It's uh, about 1800 years old. Oh, wow. Yes. Roman Emperor Diocletian decided to build his palace in Split, in this, in this city. Yeah, and that's why we want to go see that later. Uh, yes, you are going to the old town. Yeah. And that old town is under protection of UNESCO from 1979. And now we are in the most elite part of the city. Only rich persons from Split have the properties in this area. You know? Wow. Yes. And for example, do you know who is Goran Ivanishevic? Yeah, that, that's an ex-tennis player. And uh, he won uh, Wimbledon tennis tournament in 2001. And uh, he was born in Split and he has property somewhere on the right side. Split is a beautiful city. You like it? Yes. 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 And uh, Split is the second biggest city in Croatia with population about 160,000 without periphery. And with periphery, it's about 350,000. Where we lived in Bangkok was 5 million. <laughs> 5 million. That's more than whole country of Croatia. In Croatia, we have about 3.8 million. Take a look at the left. That's Tito's villa. Tito was uh, last uh, Yugoslavia president. Yugoslavia was a country of Croatia, Serbia, Macedonia, Bosnia, Montenegro and Slovenia all in one together. So yeah, I remember that. I was, in, I was stationed in Germany at the time. Really? When the, uh, yeah, when the war started in, um, in 1991, 1991, I believe yes, it was. Yes. Ended in 2001 officially, I mm, think? Officially, yes, but in Croatia it ended uh, in uh, 1995. And, uh, this villa, that villa was originally named Villa Dalmatia. Dalma Dalmatia is the, is the region where we are now, South Croatia. Down there, there is protected area, uh, pedestrian zone. Only police and the fire fire firefighters can go down there. Driving? The yes. But you could walk down there as a pedestrian? Yes, yes. Okay. You can. It's called Park Forest, Marian. Marian is the hill on the, now on the left. Okay. Maybe we can stop here. Okay. All right. Oh, wow, nice. So I'm sure when it's nice and warm, a lot of people out there, huh? Yes, yes, of course. It's beautiful. <laughs> and most of the tourists don't know for this beach. So you will find some local hill here, uh, some locals here during the summer months, enjoying on this beach. And uh, also, uh, this is an artificial beach. It's a man-made. It's man-made? Oh. Yes. Uh, they uh, brought the stones from the tunnel. Later we will come through that tunnel. Uh, and I have to mention that our sea is very safe. We don't have any sharks inside only some dolphins but in the deeper seas only and uh, maybe the most dangerous animal inside is only a small jellyfish not the big ones the, that island over there that's island Chiovo, and we are connected with that island with a bridge in a small town trogir and near trogir they, there's a uh, split airport it's about 20 25 kilometers away from split so about half an hour of drive island behind Chiovo is island sholta and the island over there, the closest island is called Brač. You think it'll be open tomorrow or something, or do you know? Probably, pro yeah. probably even later, I think. But uh, they, uh, my colleague sent me that the police is over there. I don't know why. Maybe oh, some okay. so car, they car accident okay. or something. Maybe there's been an accident. <laughs> Maybe, but th this is the first time in uh, three years of work that it's closed. Oh wow! And it, it, it had to be today. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can go to the to the football stadium. Because we are crazy about fo football, or how you say, soccer. 
stuck here, yeah. Yes, we are crazy about. But here there is a, a football club called Hajduk Split. Uh, it was founded in 1911. And uh, that club is like in our DNA. Uh, as I said, population is about uh, 160,000. And more than 100,000 people are members of that club. Oh, wow. So more than a half of the city. Okay, so we're heading into a tunnel. Is this the only tunnel in Split? Uh, yes, the only tunnel we have some, let's say, bridges. And okay. We are going under that. <laughs> that wasn't too long. Yeah, for a minute. We were we were inside about a minute. So this is. Uh, the Polyud Stadium, that's the name of the stadium. So very popular. Do you know how many people fit in this stadium? Uh, 34,000. 34,000, okay. 34,000 is the capacity of the stadium. And it fills up all the time, huh? Uh, mo most of the time, yeah. Uh, this club called Hajduk Split has uh, the biggest fan group in uh, in whole Croatia and that's that's the biggest club in, in uh, Croatia with the biggest history but uh, results in uh, for last 20 years are not on the level unfortunately we couldn't see uh, we couldn't see uh, no it's great point. thank you we had a great time yeah thank you. so now it's a little windy that's why Gift has our little hoodie on too we are heading over to Diocletian's Palace. I'll put a link to the history in the description of this video rather than trying to remember everything about this uh, Diocletian's Palace. Definitely starting to get hungry. So what is it, one o'clock, 1.30 actually. So yeah, we'll have lunch when we get in there. Nice, huh? Very nice. Very old.
Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> we'll go down. <laughs> no, I cannot. <laughs> What do you think, Gift? Really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, you look here, honey. You can see we walked yesterday from bus station. Yep. We walk. What happened in here, you know about? Uh, I had no clue. We'll put the history of this place in the description, like I said earlier. But um, unless you have a tour guide. Hey, be careful. Mm -hmm. You would need a tour guide to explain all of this to you. Okay, so let's see if uh, we could check out some of these little uh, areas where maybe I could lose you. <laughs> yes, you look really old, honey. Yep, it's hard to see. But it's pretty cool what we've seen so far, right? Mm -hmm. I'm getting hungry. How about you, Gift? It's I'm almost two o'clock. We need to get something to eat. It's starting to rain a little, drizzle. Oh, well. I need to do that. Make sure you be done lost. That's okay. I don't think we could really get lost. Yeah. Go up here. I'm sure we'll find a restaurant someplace, huh? Look like this way, like we could walk back. I think it's out of the city. Here, you could stay here, I guess, huh? Yes. How? Anyway, how? There's a restaurant there. Yeah, these are apartments around here. See the signs? I think we... <laughs> you could go around and around and around, huh? Okay. Give and my two lot. <laughs> oh, big cat. Yeah. 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 Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. Oh, look, look at that cat. Oh, no. oh. Is that like Maloy? No, Maloy, big better. Okay. Okay, nah. Okay, <laughs> you and me lost. <laughs> we walked into a dead end. We had enough part, enough time finding our place. Can you imagine trying to find that if we had an apartment here? Okay, my job. I have, I get the idea. We have apartment here, one apartment, and Italy, one apartment. Okay, gift. We could do that. You got lots of money, right? <laughs>
I have no money. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I'd want to live here. Italy, yes, but not here. Here's good for a visit, you know? Okay, that just made me dizzy. Go out this way? Yeah, fine. We walk through here, right? We walk this way. Before? We, we come this way. You want to go this way? Yeah. Whatever. So, yes, sir. What's that? People still live up there? Yeah. Oh, this one less along too, honey. Yep. It's hotels, restaurants. Let's walk through here. Here we have the fresh truffle from Istria. Ready for your fettuccine. Not ready for your Eastern Dukansi with porcini mushrooms and the truffle sauce and fettuccine with with clams with adriatic mussels and prawns in the middle. So this is a Croatian dish? Croatian traditional from, from Istria. And of course, truffles must be added. Thank you. you have a wonderful meal. Thanks. This is the pasta, huh? Yeah. Is that fettuccine? Now this is what fettuccine is supposed to look like. For you. How's your food gift? Bono, bono. No, not bono, bono. Oh, we are poised here right now. Um, uka snow. Uka snow, yep. Uka snow. It's very good, huh? Aloy mag, aloy mag. Okay, so we are done with lunch. Now we're just going to come up here and look at this real fast. And go have a coffee, I guess, or, or gelato. Like a park, right? Okay, Gift, can you do this? Do what? Can you go from this side over into that side? Um, I'm not think so. Go ahead, it's easy. Show me You'll first. only get a little wet. You show me first. Oh, no, I can't. I'm too tall. <laughs> Forget it. Forget about it, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Why are you doing that to the poor pigeons? <laughs> Oh wow, look at how they do that. <laughs> Don't park illegally here. They'll lift you right off the ground. Oh, he cannot park here. Nope. Wow. <laughs> That's going to cost someone some money, huh? Oh, there's a Mexican food restaurant right there. Oh. See it? It's got to be old and small inside. Look at that. See this? Mm -hmm. Another one right there. These are small houses. Oh, another restaurant. Yeah. Probably a little locals coming here, huh? Mm -hmm. We gotta try to remember this place. We'll come and get something to eat. I think we're getting lost, Gift. We don't lost, though. If there's a prison, you're going to jail right there, Gift. Yeah. Okay, there's the park again. Yeah. We didn't get too lost. Don't talk about pizza. Why because, not? Because I want to back to Italy, eat Mary Jo. Mary Jo pizza, yeah. yeah. Oh, my oh. favorite. When we go back, we'll have Mary Jo pizza yeah. again. Yeah. I don't want to eat anywhere. Only <laughs> Mary Jo. <laughs> okay, we are going to go get some. Gelato. You made that fresh? Yes, homemade ice cream. Very good. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Eight euro. Good. It's good. Thank you so much for watching.